to manually process a sale, enter the price of an item with no decimal places. For example, to enter $5.50, you would key 550 and select the department to which you wish to assign the sale. Repeat these steps for each item until you've entered all items. To enter multiples of the same item, simply enter the quantity of said item followed by the X or multiplication key and then enter the individual unit price followed by the appropriate department key. For example, if I have six of the same item costing $5.50 each, I would enter six X or times 550 and then the appropriate department key. If commonly used prices have been assigned to department buttons, you can simply press the appropriate department key instead of keying the price manually. Entering multiples of a department price works the same way as manual entry. Enter the quantity of said item, followed by the X or multiplication key, followed by the appropriate department key. Once all items have been entered, it's time to finalise the sale. This can be done several ways. If your customer pays by cash and you wish to calculate the change owing yourself, simply press the cash button to open the cash drawer and issue the appropriate change. If your customer pays by cash and you wish to have the Casio SEG1 calculate the change for you, once all items are entered, enter the amount received from your customer remembering to use no decimal places and then press the cash button. The cash drawer will open and the change owing will be shown in the display window along with the printed indication on the receipt. If your customer pays via credit card, once the transaction has been approved, press the CH or charge button to finalize the sale. If your customer wishes to make a split payment, that is part cash and part credit card, enter the amount of cash received and press the cash button. Now, press the charge button to finalize the remainder as a card payment. Please note, you cannot process the card portion first. You must process the cash first and then the card portion. To download a user-friendly guide containing these steps and more, click the quick programming guide link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching.